You're not wasting any time, are you? Your little rampage is going to attract attention. Attention from people I don't care to associate with. Yeah, imagine not. Thankfully, closing off your loose ends is as simple as tossing around some super grade. <laughs> with any luck, this will keep them off my ass. For a little while, anyway. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. There's still the matter of killing Georgie and Sal. You should get a kick out of hearing this. Georgie, get your ass in here. Your Uncle Tommy's dead. I thought you'd like to know. He was a smart kid, your Uncle Tommy. He could have been anything. I tried to tell him, go to law school. Instead, he went to Cuba. I'm sorry, Pops. And I know what he meant to you. I am leveraged out the ass, called in every favor, and none of it made a goddamn difference. We're fucked. I am fucked. Now that's bullshit. We still got some men. I say that we hit the streets and we find that cocksucker. Every low-life ball of piss in this city smells blood in the water. My blood. You understand? And they step over their own mother. If it meant being the one that clipped me, I wouldn't last ten minutes out there. That's a crock of shit. You are the Sal Marcano. There's gotta be something that we could do. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here. You call up whatever men we still have left. You tell them to meet us up there at the casino. And when Lincoln Clay shows up, we'll do everything we can to put that goddamn nigga in the ground right next to us. Go on now, get the fuck out of here. Should have known that Marcano would go to ground at the casino. You can take the bridge up there so it's a straight shot. You know, none of this would have happened without you. <laughs> it's either this or right away in some goddamn office. And once you've killed those assholes, you come and find me. I'll be hanging around over at the Padres. You got it. You give them hell, champ. <laughs>